Welcome to today's painting tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to paint a dragonfly suspended in amber. And let's start with a small flat brush. I'm going to start with a size two flat. And I want to paint the dragonfly a black color. So I'm just going to take black on my brush and then add it to the dragonfly. And you can take a screenshot of this um, sketch and go ahead and sketch it yourself. Doing the body and then just going on the side of the brush for the tail. Kind of bringing that down. Then it gets a little bit fatter at the end, so I'm just going to push the brush and lift up. And then move on to the wings. And I want to get close to the edge of the wings and then kind of leave a little bit of a opening. And that's just going to allow me to pop some other color in there. Just take your time and fill in the wings. I decided to do this project um, it was just inspired by all the beautiful fall colors that we're seeing. And everything in this season just seems to turn into a beautiful amber glow. So this is a good way to celebrate that. And again, just fill in those wings. And you can kind of um, pull down the paint to make some of these kind of streaks that look like the different sections of the wings. Okay, and then I just wanna let that dry. And while that's drying, we can work on the outside of the amber stone. So we'll take a size nine filbert, which is quite a bit longer, quite a bit larger. And we'll take a dark shade. This is gonna be the burnt sienna. And I just want to pop that in around the edge of the amber. And make sure that you have enough paint on your brush. And you can skip some of the edges. Maybe make um, some of them a little bit wider by bringing the paint down. Kind of just think about the parts that might be in shadow and try to make it random. That's what I always have a little bit of trouble with is making things non-uniform. That's how they appear in nature, so it does look better when you can make them look more natural. You could put a little bit of this underneath the dragonfly just to make a little bit of a shadow. Okay, and now let's move on to another color. So we can take quite a bit of water and add a little bit of lemon yellow. And then see if we can kind of put that in as like a glaze. So a nice watery mix. And you want to be careful not to touch the dragonfly where that black paint is because you don't want to make, that would make kind of a muddy effect that you don't want and you could probably go straight over it if it was completely dried okay and i want to see if i can get a little bit closer i think some of the outside has dried so i'm gonna carefully See if I can add that color in there without getting the black to bleed. You can kind of tilt your paper and see if there's any like reflection or shine and that's gonna tell you that the paint is still wet. But it seems pretty dry here. Okay, and then very carefully for the wings, just gonna get another kind of diluted wet yellow color. I'm gonna to try to pop that in right where the wings are. See if it's dry enough. 
Okay, so that worked pretty good. All right, so now let's build up the color. So we could do a little bit of an orange shade. So I have this orangey red and I could mix it with a burnt sienna to tone it down a little bit and then see if that gives us like an orangey color. Okay, and I can just kind of put that in in different areas. Try not to cover up too much of the yellow because we still want that to show through in different places. Then you can take a damp brush, just see if you can kind of blend those colors together. Just make them look smooth because it's like a rock texture for the amber. And if you put a little bit too much paint in certain areas and you wanted to do some lifting, just take a damp brush and see if you can lift off a little bit of the paint. And again, we're using a nice paper that does allow us to work with multiple layers and work with water. Okay, and I just wanna bring this orange a little bit closer to the dragonfly in certain spots where it's just has a little bit of the white showing through. Okay, so we could maybe put a little bit more yellow in certain areas to get more variety and more of a glowing effect. And you could do another layer of your darker colors. So you could take a little bit of a dark brown, like a Van Dyke brown, mix it with a little bit of burnt sienna. Maybe just on one side of the um, rock or the amber, you could put a really dark value. That's gonna give a nice shadow. But you don't wanna put it in other areas because then it will get kind of muddy. So we're just using it really sparingly, which will give us a nice effect. Okay. And then you could do, think about where you want a highlight. Maybe do a little bit of lifting for where you want your highlight and then mix up some titanium white, with a little bit of lemon yellow and then see if you could make a nice highlight. Maybe put a little bit of it along the edge and kind of a line like that. Okay, so I think that's looking good. And then for a last final touch, so I have this metallic acrylic paint and you can take a liner brush and just try to get a little bit of the paint onto the end of the brush. And if you need to, use your palette and kind of roll the liner brush in the paint, trying not to get too much on the end. And then see if you can take this brush and just add a few little marks. So just some beautiful little touches, highlights that you can put on your piece. And then when you kind of, when you're finished and you go like this, you can kind of see how the paint is a little bit reflective and that just gives it a really pretty touch. Okay, so we'll call this project done. You could go back and add more detail to your dragonfly if you would like. And just, you could kind of experiment with different colors as well. So we'll call that finished. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.